I've been walking around. I'm back in. And of course, I remember Minding my own business. Yeah, you know what it is. Ring, ring, ring the motherfucking alarm. It's me and the whole list you. Stop playing. Yeah, big garden. Tell them what's up. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to say? You embarrassing me now. <laughs> don't worry about it. Bring my food, bitch. <laughs> call me a bitch now. You don't do shit like that. I'm being nice and bringing you cereal. Then you want to call me a bitch? Enjoy your cereal. Lick it off the walls for all I care. The crazy thing is she threw the whole entire bowl in. She didn't just throw the cereal. She threw the whole bowl. She could have knocked cut his tooth out. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm not even You're from here. She's following me around to the trash can. No, I haven't. I've been walking around. I'm back in. And of course, I minding my own business. Fucking hey, what? Okay, now I have to call the police. You, you can go inside. No, I'm sitting in my fucking stoop, buddy. What? You're gonna walk? Hey. 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 What is going on? What? What is she doing? She doesn't like you. She feels very harassed by you. What is she doing? I feel very harassed by you. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got a freaking weapon? What are you doing? It's it's a fucking. She broke the thing. You have a weapon? Close the door, fat ass. Quit. Quit. All right, so we all know she's crazy, and I feel bad for the dude who's ever going to be in a relationship with her. Step one was when she put her hands on the man. Women who do things like that, do y'all ever consider step two? Which is, he might put his, he might hit back? Like, do y'all ever consider that? I'd really be wondering. Or maybe she felt bold because that guy was there. Because she ain't start doing all that until he arrived. If I want you or I'm interested in you, I'm going to let you know. And by let you know, I mean, I'm going to ask you to hang out one time. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, that's all you're getting from me. You got to come get me because I already did all the work and it was hard. You doing, man? I haven't had sex in like two years. I'm trying to find someone to pursue that with today. Do you have any spare time? If you put your phone down, I'll answer. I'm just trying to, I'm looking for hot milk to kick it with. Maybe come back to my place, have a couple of drinks. Are you trying to get slapped right now? A hot milk? Yeah. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, what's up? Do you like In-N-Out? Yeah. You like their burgers? Yeah. All right, so we could go to In-N-Out, and then you can come back to my crib, and you can go In-N-Out to me. How's that sound? <laughs> the guy you just saw is Kai Sinat, for the people who don't know. He's 5'3". And I reacted to multiple videos of females being real thirsty for him. It amazes me how thirsty women be when you are successful. He is the most successful streamer of all times. This dude is a millionaire. This man makes millions a month. And females just be so thirsty for him. And the sad part is him being 5'3", if he didn't have all that success and all that money, we know that most women wouldn't even give him the time of day, bro. So ladies, I know you always ask me what it's like to really live with David. And um, we're doing five minutes of push-ups together, so I thought, and I jumped in the shower because we have dinner in about 45 minutes. And David's still going. So David, how long have you actually been going here? Let me look at this. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought we were doing five. This guy is the reason why I started working out five days a week. But if I had to be honest, I had to stop watching because it seems like no matter how much you do, it's never enough comparing yourself to him. You hear what I'm saying? I do a mile Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but if I watch his videos, I feel like, dang, I should maybe try to push for two. Maybe try to push for three, which is good, but I don't, I don't even feel like pushing myself that much. What's your love language? Physical touch. Every man says that! Yeah, they, they love that. Every man! They're whores. Like, they just like being touched with So you say your, your love language is physical touch? How's that feel? Feel good. When is my birthday? Cause I know I'm gonna smack you. Normally, I'm good at mm, this. Mm, 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 mm. It's uh, it's the answer or you don't. Damn, have yeah, October 16. Maybe I'm not romantic or whatever, but I've always been terrible at stuff like that. I am not gonna sit here and fake like I, you know, I I, I suck at that stuff. I want to know this life lesson that I've been learning lately. 
You cannot be mad at somebody for not caring about you the way that you wanted them to care. You cannot be mad at somebody for not loving you the way that you expected them to love you. One of the hardest things for us to do sometimes is just, just to accept reality. Like, bro, she don't want you. And there's nothing you can do that's going to change that. And sis, he don't want to marry you. <laughs> there's nothing you can do that's going to... He, he, he going to keep taking it, you know what I'm saying? You keep giving the pussy, he going to take... But he not going to marry you. The sooner you accept that, the sooner you can find somebody that actually, from both parties, male and female, they can find somebody that actually is going to mean something for real in their life. If you choose that man to be your man, handle that man like that's your man, I will never bring my man no shame. It would never be a nigga out here just talking about, oh, well, she was flirting with me in the DM, or, oh, I met her somewhere, or we had a conversation that was... A certain, nah, no, 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 no. I respect the legacy. Mm -mm. No shame. These are four things you never tolerate from females as a fucking man. Man up, bruh. Stop being a little simple. One, stop accepting the break terms. When your girl say, let's take a break, she wants another man to break her guts in. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she might tell you like, oh, I'm going to focus right now. I got a lot going on. When a girl tells you this, bro, she lost all inches, bro. Move on. This is her nice way of going about it. Let me tell you something, bro. If you ever take a break from a girl and you know she smashed another dude during that break and you take her back, you a sucker, my boy. Like, tighten up. Two, a female that's always threatening to leave you over a petty disagreement or argument. Guys, walk away from this shit, bro. Imagine being a grown man walking on eggshells in your relationship. This is full-on female manipulation to get you to be her little bitch. You know what I'm saying? So when she says, oh, I'm going to leave, we're like, listen, the door's right there. I ain't stopping you, bro. And guess what? She's not going to leave, bro, because you being a man and you standing up to a BS. She's just trying to put you in a state of fear and panic, bro. But don't fall for it. Be a man. Matter of fact, you walk away, bro. Show her that you don't care and you don't need her. You're going to be good with or without her. Three, any type of disrespect from a female, bro, small or big, pause. Her hanging up on the phone with you. Her blocking you because she's mad. Let me tell you something. This is where it starts, but it gets worse. You give a girl an inch, <laughs> she gonna take a mile, you dig. Four, you dealing with a party girlfriend, bro, who likes to party every weekend with her friends and get drunk, right? Guys, let me tell you something. At parties, there's a lot of bad decision making. Drugs, alcohol, guys, right? One day she's gonna cheat on you, and she's gonna be like, oh, I didn't know. It was a mistake. I was drunk. Don't say I didn't warn you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the ones he said, the disrespect one is the most important. Because she could be attracted to you. She could think you're funny. She could think you're awesome. She could think you're a provider, all those type of things. But if she doesn't have any respect for you, like if she disrespects you and you allow it, she lost every all the, everything else, the attraction, everything. It just automatically goes away once she loses respect for you. Now, let me ask you, as someone who's competed at, at the elite level, in your experience, is, is, is there a difference between women and men? Of course. I think we learn this at a very young age, watching even 12 and unders play. Going through puberty causes irreversible um, advantage that no matter the training, no matter the diet, no matter any alterable um, change you can make will overcome that male advantage. Especially in sports like swimming, where lung capacity matters so much. Um, even something as silly as throat size, men have on average a 40% larger throat, which sounds like it's nothing. But when you're grasping for air, that 40% larger throat makes a huge difference in athletic success, not to mention height. Um, you guys know the differences. What's your name? Crystal. You so cute, you know that? Yo, eye contact what? is real special. Like, when you're not even breaking eye contact, you just keep it going. And I love that. And I appreciate that. And you so cute for that. You Stop. Know that. So cute. <laughs> Damn, you cute. Oh, my God. I'm a Can I reach you one thing, sir? Yeah. 12. 12? You broke my Broke scale. your scale? Like, the way you looking at shit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, don't touch me like that. That's gonna activate <laughs> Why not? That, you don't wanna activate that. Bro. Why not? Lie. Maybe I do. I want cool. you too. Yeah. You know the weirdest thing about confidence that I always thought was so interesting when talking to a female? You can talk to the most confident woman in the world. If you're super confident like how he was, it always makes them nervous. I don't understand that. Confidence literally turns almost every female into that type of female right there. All of a sudden they start getting shy and everything and blushing and it's wild. The caption said this guy is crying because his wife of 26 years left him and said that she doesn't love him anymore. Now, I don't know his situation, but I don't think his tears are just because she left him. I think the tears is because he's thinking about all the sacrifices he done made for her, for her to just walk out like it's nothing. 26 years is crazy. Y'all, tell me why I posted a picture on Instagram, right? And I was like, 
Stop DMing me and telling me how pretty I am. Come with that shit underneath my post, right? And I got a couple DMs and some guys were like, I can't, my girlfriend will see. You see why me can't trust in a fucking Ross clap, man? I'm not good for nothing. What do you mean your girl will see? Eh? This is why you have, have one, two, three, four, five, six thousand men up on the roster because I choose to demand them, them will embarrass your ass. Make sure I'm not hit up, hitch up. We don't know woman um, drama. I need no woman to call me. I send a bird or, or, or message me up on Instagram. I talk about, do you know my man? I don't know your man. I don't know him. <laughs> as sad as this is, the only reason that guy had the boldness to tell you he can't because he has a girlfriend is because a lot of times don't care. I'm pretty sure that's not the first time that guy said to a female, I can't, I have a girlfriend. Because that's cool, she ain't got no, it's probably the response he's used to. And even though what he's doing is trifling, his confidence really comes from the fact that most women really do not be caring. If they like you, they want you. In fact, sometimes it makes you more attractive if you do have a girlfriend. That's sad, but that's just how it is.